back. President Trump's first State of the Union expected to tout building a safe, strong, and proud America with the focus on Republicans and Democrats coming together to do so. So what does the president need to say to make this happen? Here now is former deputy assistant to former President George W. Bush, Brad Blakeman, and also liberal commentator uh, Wendy Osefo. Thank you guys so much for coming on this morning. Uh, Brad, I want to start with you. We're going to pull up the five uh, big pillars that we're expected to hear about in this speech, and they are uh, right there, jobs in the economy, infrastructure, immigration, trade, and national security. Uh, at this point, the president has made some pretty strong headway on four out of five of these. Infrastructure, he's still kind of working on, but he's made some pretty good progress on the rest, uh, I- including, of course, the economy. Um, do you expect this to be a braggy affair tonight? Uh, he, he does like to boast about his accomplishments. Well, the president has a lot to be proud of. Uh, When he came into office, we had somebody who's never served in government before, yet he took the bull by the horns and he challenged the status quo. And guess what? He delivered. We have the largest tax cuts we've ever had in reforms in 31 years. Exactly what he said has come true. American uh, corporations are repatriating offshore profits and returning those profits to shareholders and, most importantly, their employees. The stock market is doing good. So we have Wall Street and Main Street performing very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the president's going to tout his accomplishments, but I think he's also going to challenge Congress. There's a lot of stuff left to do, and we have to do it together. We're Americans. And if we all understand that these problems exist, like immigration and infrastructure, our crumbling uh, critical infrastructure, then as Americans, we we just need to join in and unite in a solution. So this is going to be, I think, a challenging speech, but it's going to be an uplifting speech to let everybody know this president president is willing to solve problems. Yeah, and it's, you know, he's, he's seen actually, you know, with, with the economic output and uh, uh, the great news we've seen as f- after the uh, tax reform, he's seen his uh, approval rating get up into the mid 40s, which uh, I really think if he didn't have a Twitter account uh, would be, you know, <laughs> much, much higher. Let's go to Wendy here for a second. Uh, there are a number uh, of Democrats that have decided to boycott uh, the State of the Union. Let's pull up a, a, a picture here that shows uh, all of these people right here. There's 11 of them at this this point. Uh, Wendy, the president will want to try and bring people together. He knows he's going to need 60 out of 100 in the Senate to get some things passed. Uh, Bipartisanship has been tough for him. What do you say? I agree. I I think while those on the right would like for him tonight to tout his economic numbers, those progressives on the left are really looking for the president to bring us together. Divisive rhetoric has been the flagship of this presidency. Whether we look at his comments after the Charlottesville incident, the comments when the fallen star hero, LaDavid Johnson, passed away, or his Pocahontas comments, there's just a litany of comments that he has made that has torn this country apart. So what we need to see from this president is that we need to understand that he is the president for all people, not just for his base. And what we also need to see is more than words. If he speaks well tonight, that is great. But what we need to ensure is that he puts forth policies that do not exclude people. We need to yep. be an inclusive community, and that's what's missing. I want to ask you both, and I don't have a lot of time to get answers on it. Brad, I want to ask you about this FISA memo. Uh, does the president release this? I think the uh, expected answer is yes. There's no doubt that the president's not going to get involved, uh, in my opinion. Why? Is because we have a co-equal branch of government. They're making a decision. The president will respect it. And they've done the work. It's their work product. And the American people need to see it. Yeah. Uh, Wendy, over to you. I mean, the left is saying this is all a distraction, but there are some pretty damning things uh, that have come out so far as far as text between Strzok and Page. Uh, What do you say to this uh, memo being released? Will the president release it? Yes. Should he release it? No. Even his own DOJ has said that this memo is reckless. So I don't think he should release it. So we're going to see whether or not he puts his own personal feelings in front of what his advisors are telling him to do. Okay, guys, thanks so much for coming on this morning. We're going to do this again tomorrow. We'll analyze post-speech. Guys, thanks so much. Thank you.